Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, before I begin, uh, I have been adjusting my audio a little bit. Let me know how it is. Uh, to me, I've always seemed a little quieter. My videos always been quieter than the other YouTubers I watch. And I'm not talking the yelling and screaming and stuff like that. I'm just talking, talking general audio levels on the same device I watch. So I'm trying to adjust it. It's always been a, a thing with my channel with uh, bad audio in the beginning. It was absolutely terrible. I had viewers yelling at me in the comments and stuff like that. So I'm trying to improve it a little bit. But feel free to let me know in the comments. Should be a little louder, a little quieter. Should I just stop talking altogether and just let the game music and game audio go? But anyway, uh, as you can see, I have set up the signs for the containers here. So I got like you know cluster, cluster components, reactor components, metal grids, and all yada yada yada. I am currently making power cells right now because I want to get some batteries going today. Uh, there's a few other things I want to do. Uh, we might do this so get a few more windmills up. Uh, they seem to be running at optimal performance. Someone had mentioned uh, having them seven blocks apart, so I'll give that a shot. Go seven high. Uh, make sure to have. I'll be generous. Give four blocks outside the window before I go up to the top. I'll probably just do like an H frame, or and yeah, and see if I can get I don't know, a few more windmills on here. I'm gonna end, end up needing the power eventually. Um, as far as the storage system goes, uh, there has been a slight issue with it. Uh, I started uh, producing plates right away after the last video and started getting them produced, but they weren't going in here. They were actually bypassing the, 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 the sorter and actually ending up in this container here. So I actually had to put another sorter in here and actually blacklist everything that I produce. So that's a list of everything that goes into those containers and I just had to blacklist it from here just to make sure that it doesn't bypass and that's just better organization. Uh, one of the things I actually want to do is take that container, well, not necessarily that one, but another one right here, and so basically uh, have an overflow. So if anything doesn't fit in these containers, it goes through here, goes through the, the sorter, which has everything blacklisted, and then goes through a container. So if I produce something, some one-offs like gravity components or something like that, instead of going over there, I can go over here because I do want to end up closing this in eventually. Um, I was going to do this tri 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 trial by error, but uh, some, one of, some of you might know. I'm not going to do it in this video. Uh, but I'm thinking about putting a glass roof on here. Can I just do it straight panels all the way, or will I need some sort of structural support? Maybe a block one across is, you know, to cover the span or something like that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd rather not have pillars if I can avoid it. So, yeah, we can either do that, or you can just be quiet and I'll try it. I'll try it the hard way the BC way. Uh, yeah, anyways, so a couple of things I want to do today. Uh, I actually went over to the mine there and got a whole bunch of iron going through. Uh, where is it? It's still in here? Must be. I did like two runs. Yeah, iron, nickel, silicon, that's still going. So got a few resources, but one of the, the biggest things really is going in and out of the hole all the time doing manual mining. Uh, I could set up a machine that excavates the ground and and uh, basically goes down and digs up the ore. But for one, you're dealing with all the excess stone. Yes, could you run it through the refinery and get extra resources out of it, but then you're left with a lot of gravel. And you only need so many reactors, and I don't think the reactors actually need that much gravel to begin with. So I want to get a, a little flyer set up just for like running back and forth with the with the large container on it for the small grid, which would be 78,000 liters or something. So it's a, it's a fair bit. And just have a little docking station there and you know, use container and sorters to load the craft. Uh, I also want to get some hydrogen going today. But what I really need to do is look at expanding this area. I don't know why I wasted my jetpack fuel. Well, whatever. So what I'm going to do, I want to have some tanks back here. This is all going to be open in the back. Uh, that area there is going to be all closed off. Probably going to have a cryopod in there. Uh, and I got a little idea for a trinket. I might try to get in there eventually. Nothing fancy, just utilizing what we have and taking advantage of it just to do something cool. But we'll see how that one turns out. But anyways, uh, I'm going to do some building here. I'm going to expand this area and I'll bring you back. Uh, probably bring, bring you back when the sun comes back up so I shall see you shortly. Alright, well, I decided to move the solar uh, the wind turbines while I was at it. I went ahead and I got 18 of them up. 
and I did a little bit of testing myself. Let me uh, go down here. I've gone through like three bottles already. Uh, so originally when I had, had them up there, I had them six blocks apart. They were reading optimal and doing 367. So now they're three blocks apart except for the ones in the middle. And believe it or not, we are doing... Oh, it's actually doing optimal on that one still too. Wow. So that must be the one that's in the middle. But even then, 328. Considering the fact that I'm technically getting 50% more windmills in there, because in the same area I had four of them set up going across, and I was doing 368, 370, so now I got six of them doing 320. So I should be generating enough to get some batteries built. Uh, I went ahead and wanted to make, uh, make a nice 12 pack here. Oh, and these things are heavy. That's right, I forgot. All right, so I don't want to find a good place to actually set this battery bank up. I haven't decided yet. It's probably going to be... I don't know if I should have it inside or outside. Let's do it outside. And... And I'm going to do it in such a way... Let's put it over here. Uh, I did build this high enough, and I didn't put, bother putting any uh, wind turbines underneath here because there is going to be a docking area here. Uh, originally, it was going to be two separate areas, one for the refinery, one for the H2O2 generator, but uh, since we got filters, why not use one, right? So uh, let's just actually put this right here. And do I want to put that close in? Yeah. I want to keep it a little ways away, but I'm going to do it a little differently. I am actually going to do a uh, two by two by three but I'm gonna color it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the actually let's start with the top this is gonna be a tougher color to match it's actually pretty good right about there if I can get a should be there maybe a little bit brighter saturation down close enough all right. Yes, a copper top battery. I'm not saying any names. Just saying, why not? You're gonna build a giant battery. Might as well do something with it, right? So I'll do it that way, and then uh, do black for the bottom, and I will bring you back once I got it all built. Okay, that actually took a little longer than I thought because uh, moving back and forth with all the power cells, but needless to say, there's my big battery. Uh, if you're laughing now, then obviously you haven't been on the channel very long because the real me would do this probably about as high as that beam up there, which I forgot to take down. Uh, but yeah, that would be a long time, and it's just because the inventory, you know, you can only carry like enough power cells for one battery so it's back and forth and back and forth and back and forth but anyways so now I want to get uh, get, get uh, a docking station I also want to put uh, some hydrogen tanks in and I'm thinking I was going to do them t one on top of the other but I think side by side might be might be pretty pretty interesting well they're pretty big uh, hmm one on top of the other it is then and of course we're gonna get these nice bright red so I don't drive so I don't fly into them. Uh, knowing me I probably will. Uh, we'll find out if hydrogen is explosive in this game. Uh, with my luck it is. Uh, yeah, I guess that would be good. As long as I've got room to get a small flyer in, it's not gonna be a big grid ship or anything like that. So yeah, that's gonna be where they can hydrogen containers are going to be. There's going to be a uh, conveyor underneath, of course, connected to the system. Get a couple of H2O2 generators here. Could probably even get away with one. I will have to put one inside the base and get that set up with, uh, what you would call it, uh, cryo chamber, yes. Just because. Uh, I know the battery that uh, survival kit's not going to last forever. Uh, not bad, not Imagine I've been flying with the damn thing. Uh, oh yeah, H2O2 generators. So I'll take that and uh, let's just get a nice blue on this one. Maybe something like that. Sure. And this is just going to be for the inside here. I could probably 
I probably only need one conveyor output on that. In fact, it's got one on the bottom, so we'll just go right on that and not like that. And again, I'll be putting a filter on that thing to make sure that it's not sucking in ores or anything like that into in there. I know it won't, but you never know. And now for the this section here. Uh, what I was thinking about doing, I want this is uh, something I want to try. I know they have the catwalks in the game. So what I want to do is I want to take take a couple of these out, like so. I want to put a conveyor down, and of course I don't have anything, but it doesn't matter because I just want to do a test here. Uh, I want to see if I can use the catwalk as a conveyor cover, so sort of give it that industrial look where you, you've got a catwalk. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna work. So it actually has to go on a block. That's a shame. Because I think that you can see through that, can you not? I think there's openings. I don't know. Anyways, that was something I wanted to try. Anyways, uh, so in that case, I'm going to be setting up... Uh, well, I'll show you when I get it done. i got to do some digging and get that hooked up to here and to that. But uh, let me cut to the chase. I'll be right back. Okay, so I do technically have all the conveyors set up. Uh, I haven't put the H202 generator back yet, but this uh, conveyor here, uh, I don't know if I can actually show you inside here, it's kind of kind of cramped, but let me see if I can crouch down, I'll squeeze in here. Uh, I see H202 generator over there. Uh, over there somewhere is, where is it? Oh, right there. That's the tank, tanks, I should say which connect up to here, that's fine because the ice is going to go there and then the hydrogen is going to go over there and then i uh, probably have a second conveyor coming off of that and this one goes to the refinery so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a, put a couple more uh, sorters here now I've got to make sure I'm facing the right way I can actually, okay, so one goes that way and then one goes this way and of course I need parts. Let me go grab some stuff. Okay, I got everything. And what do you know, it's dark again. At least I think I have everything. Oh, construction components. That's what I forgot. Ha ha ha. I forget everything but except what I need. Alright. Alright, I get everything except for what I need. Okay, so we go ahead and finish that one up. Now where is the terminal? Go here, we are going to whitelist. Set this to whitelist, and this is just going to be ice. Ice. Okay, so that's going to be the hydrogen, hydrogen oxygen system. I should probably get an oxygen tank over there. And this one here, uh, this is where it gets easy. We go to whitelist. We're going to go down to, uh, go up to the top, and we're going to choose ore for one. And then we're going to go for scrap metal. So then that way any scrap metal just automatically go back in there. I might even... I could almost set it up so I could throw the scrap metal back in there. I will figure it out. So that is that. So now to connect these, I'm going to put a conveyor junction in there. And then add another one on top, another sorter on top. Junction one, where did I have that? Eight. I thought it was eight. Okay, do that. And yes, I know my conveyors are not orange for a change. Uh, tubes. But, but anyways, uh, what am I going to do? Because i got to go get more materials anyways. So I'm going to put a conveyor junction there. And then I'm going to put, on, put another sorter going in. But that one's going to be set to, to pull out of the conveyor connect. Uh, connector that I have on top, which is going to be a docking port for a little ship I'm going to build. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got it all set up here. Uh, I'm going to try something here with this. I've never really messed around with these settings too much, but there is a, where is it, I collect all. I know throw, throw out will actually spit out whatever it is into actual physical form, but collect all might be sort of like a, a similar to the drain all function on here. I set this to drain all as well, so hopefully, where is it? Uh, yeah, drain all, I've set that to drain all, so it should work. Uh, I was worried about inventory space, but the sorters do have inventory themselves, so uh, that's got it. That has an inventory, that has an inventory, that has an inventory, that has an inventory, and of course that. 
and that has an inventory. Uh, what I did do is I built a little ice box here. Now this is a container that's hooked up to the H2O2 generator here, which will t technically take in any ice that goes through here because I should only be able to carry about 30,000 liters in this system. Uh, but if I build a flyer with a large container, it's about 78,000, so I gotta make sure I have the, the storage space for it. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are ready to go. Um, everything is connected. I'm ready to do the, a bit of a test run on this, but first I like to uh, get a bit of a craft going. So got to get our jack tool out here, or in this case, align the gear. That's the wrong button because I want to go to small grid. Thank you. Just like that. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Construction components. Okay. Uh, I need to get supplies. I'll be right back. Okay, I am ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this on here. Uh, I'm just using the, the landing gear as a jack for now. Uh, it's not going to actually have landing gear on it. And I'm going to do it yellow. I'm actually going to try to make it look sort of like a dump truck if I can. And good luck on that. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get a couple of batteries on here. That's not a battery. That's a battery. Now I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this because I also have to base this around a large container which is about yay big. So I'm wondering... Actually, I gotta make sure I have that good pat down at the bottom so I get the conveyor connector on there. And, yeah, I guess I'll just throw some batteries on the back. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna be a hauler, that's all it is. Uh, that's not a battery, of course not, that's a battery. And so I'll put two batteries on it. And that should work. Should be enough. Uh oh, power cells. Yes, that's maybe the fun one. But that is oh, 156,000 liters. That's perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna put uh, four batteries, two batteries on there, and then uh, for the thrusters, it was gonna be six. Um, geez, you think I remember which way to, which button I should be pushing? So put one there. Uh, put one here and put one here. I'm putting six on here because I actually expect this to be heavy. So I want to make sure I can actually get it off the ground. I had that in the right spot, did I not? I have it. no idea. No, I don't. I had to go back over one more. Okay. Alright, that is gone. So that is going to be like that. And then we're going to get a few more for her moving around. Um, hmm. Do it up here. One there. Uh, where did I go on the top? No, I did it right here. Wrong spot. Let's get the thruster back up. Where is it? Six. Okay, there and there. And then one more over here. Now for forwards and backwards. Pretty simple. We go there and there. And I realize now I should actually have this one here. So I can have my reverse ones or my forward thrusters on this side. Just like so. And then to finish it off, we try to sneak a connector in here, if I can. Yeah, like I said, really simple design, but what really makes this a good idea is what I'm going to be doing with it at the mine. i got to see if I can... There we go. And it's clipped to the ground, so I'm gonna have to put. We're gonna have to get this up in the air first. So I gotta do a whole bunch of back and forth to get these things built, and I'll bring you back when this is done. Okay, I got it all done. Uh, I also have enough on me. Oh, that's not my inventory. That's my inventory. Enough on me and in the cab to get these uh, these docking stations set. Uh, I am aware that conveyors do need power. Uh, my theory is that. The batteries on here should be able to power the conveyors when I dock to it. So what we are going going to do is first I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna go ahead and 
turn my thrusters on. Get first person so we can actually see what I'm doing here. Oh, they're, now they're on. Turn the power on, that helps. Well, I'm dock. And I did put a couple of gyros on here. And I just want to get out and we're going to take that off. Because we don't need it where we're going. Because we're going to be putting one of these on here. And I need computers, which should be oh, in here. All right, so then basically this is how we're going to dock to here to unload and dock over there to to load up. So now, get that out of my face, use the jetpack and hop in. All right, so now let's go get some iron because funny thing is I'm out of iron. Who would have thought, huh? But that's okay, because we got a huge iron deposit here, and I got another one somewhere nearby. So we're pretty good on that. So what I'm going to do is, because I do have my little tunnel there, I'll try to slow this thing down, not crash it. Uh, it should be pretty good on power, but I'm going to try to land it on the ground and shut it off for now, because I haven't actually charged it. And... Touchdown. Good enough. Stay. Alright. Now we gotta figure out where the deposit is. I'm gonna turn my light on so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And so let's see, where is a good place to go? Probably right next to the tunnel would be the best. So let's see here. Where would be a good spot? Right here. Right here. Alright, now I gotta cut my Handy dandy drill. Turn my jetpack on. I'm looking straight up. Oh, oh yeah, I can't. It's so hard to look straight up with the jetpack. Uh, you know what? Let's do it this way. I think. Yeah, because I should probably put the container on first. Oh, that's not the container. That's a container. And I want the big container. Okay, we are gravity aligned. Yes, we are. Now, where is my hole? Do I even say it? Somebody's gonna say it. Okay, there. So now, basically, I want to drill straight up, which isn't always the easiest because uh, I guess there's a way to tell with the nav ball. I just don't know how to do that. Okay, um, yeah, let me figure this out. Let's try this an easier way, shall we? First, let's see if we have enough to fill the bin in. No, I don't, because I need the metal grids. But what I'm going to do, first of all, let's clear a little bit more room, because I'm going all over the place here. But what I was going to do is I was going to put a sorter on top, rotate the right way, of course, facing up, like so. And then it was going to be a straight beeline of conveyor pipes. So I think the best way for me to do this is to do them one by one. So, yeah. And this way I can get a straighter thing on it. And I need construction components. So you get the idea. I'm going to bring this right up to the surface, put a connector on top, and we're going to dock this thing. Okay, I have it all done. I just had to run back and get a few things. Uh, like more construction components. Uh, the hole ended up being a little bit bigger, so I put a block there for now. This is done. Okay, now back down here. Go ahead and we'll fill in the container and the, the sorter. Wasn't actually as high as I expected it to be. But it is connected. So now it does not have power. And that is because I have to power it. I want to see where that terminal is. Can I get to it from here? Uh, no, I can't. But since it's the only sorter on here, I should have no problem actually finding it. There we go. Drain all. Okay. That's all we do. Now we run up here and see if I can get out of the hole without killing myself. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I do, however, want to recolor that. There we go. Make it look a little better. 
Alright, so now it's just a matter of docking to that. Okay, so we got a lot of power now. Wait till this thing is full. It'll be a different story. And now I realize it's not even going to dock because it doesn't have power to begin with. Let's see what happens. No. It's not going to connect. So that's fine. And it just means i got to build a solar panel here. Which also means I won't be able to mine at night. But that's fine. Because this should save me a fair bit of time. So uh, I'm probably going to lay out a whole bunch of blocks. And lay a solar panel at the end or somewhere. And I'll bring you back when it's time to do some mining. Okay, I decided to go with a wind turbine instead of a solar panel. Just because I uh, always have power and generates more power. Uh, believe it or not, I... I actually had to recycle some scrap to actually make the last two girders to finish this thing. And yes, I'm going to do it yellow just so I can find the damn thing. I'm not going to worry about these because that's just too expensive. Alright, so we should have power. I should have not taken care of that before. It's a good thing I can fly. Alright, now it's just a matter of docking. This is relatively easy. Uh, at least I, it should be. There we go. Alright, so now I turn my thrusters off. Now we keep powered and maybe they'll even charge. But anyways, now the question is, is this actually going to work? Well, technically it should. It'll probably work a little bit better if I cleaned out my inventory. Alright, can I get into you? I do have enough room to dump everything. I do. Perfect. Okay. Let's do this. So, this is my theory. I go in here, I mine, I dump everything in there, and it shoots right up into the ship. I want to crouch, not use my jetpack. But yeah, this is that's what I'm thinking, and this should work, so this saves me from having to run up to the top all the time. And we'll get a nice big healthy full load here. And eat my must have eaten my Wheaties this morning. I can carry ten tons of iron. Alright. So we do that. Go in here, we drag that over. And it's gone. Let's actually go see <laughs> let's go make sure it's actually in there. But it should be in the ship. And, uh, it's not. Where is it? Alright, we get to play the hunting game again. I wonder if this has to be set to collect. Interesting. Connector 2. Okay, so it's still in here then. Apparently. No, it's in here now. Uh, Alright, well. Right, well, let me figure this out. Okay, I'm going to try something here. So, connector 2 is on my ship. So, I have that set to collect all. If I set connector 1, the one that's hooked up to the dock, that we're docked to, to throw out. Is that going to go into the ship, or is it going to be all over the place? Well, let's find out. And now it's in connector 2. Hmm. Should be a way to pull it in. It goes in here. Unless I gotta force it through. Let me fill it up and see what happens. Alright, so I've been at this for about 15 minutes now. I've probably gone through like at least 10 inventories already. You know, I still haven't seen anything backed up in there yet, so I'm gonna assume that it's forcing it all into the container. Looks like it's gonna fill up the, the connector first. And go from there. So let's just go ahead and dump this in. 
Now, I could go through here and find out, but uh, I know I've got iron. That's all I really need. Did I forget anything here? Uh, no, it's just, just stone. I want to make sure that I don't lose anything. You know, when you're a mad builder, you need all the resources you can get. And that includes being able to get out of the cave with variable jetpack fuel. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Still hasn't gone in, why? Okay, it's starting to fill that up now. Is that what's going on? Let's see, connected inventories. Yeah, it's still going into that connector. Interesting. There's got to be a way to force it in there. Well, not that I can see, but we can always do this. And believe me, that's a hell of a lot easier than running into that hole about 20 million times. So the storage volume on here is still 32. I'm going to go in and I'm probably get a little bit more in here. Mm, got a lot of iron, which should be more to come, but we don't need that much right now. But I'm going to fill that up and then uh, we'll go dump it off and try the ice. Okay, I'm back in the ship. It's going to have about 125, ton 125 yeah, tons of iron. Uh, still don't know why this isn't doing what, it should, what I want it to do. I did do collect all, but that didn't work, so we'll just turn that off. And we are going to undock and head back. Whoop. Turn the power off doesn't help. And surprisingly it flies okay, but mind you, we don't have a big load. That one's actually pretty close. We might have to go check that out. But, now the question is, how well is this going to work? In theory it should work. In theory though. Okay, so now I just got to dock through this and see if it's going to go into the refinery properly. Go like that, and like that, and down, and we should connect. Alright, so now what's happening here? It emptied already. Awesome. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. So it automatically pulls it out. So, yeah. So, I think the only way I'd be able to actually get this to properly pull in like I wanted it to is... Uh, I want to say I have the, the small conveyor sorters on here going from here to that container. That could possibly work because everything was stuff was going in here, but not going up to the container, and that would be relatively cheap. I know they have a small block version of that. And they got the small containers. They got conveyor sorter. And I can use that to drain, but this technically should be hooked up to the container as it is. So if I do a drain all, is that going to drain from here, go into the container, and then pull it back through into the connector, and then dra drain it through again? I'm not too sure, but anyways, we do have tons of iron going through right now. So we are going to undock this. i got to make sure I have enough stuff to open up my inventory first to actually get the other setup going. Oh, that's not the cockpit. But it could be basically the same thing I got set up over there, where I've got the storage container with the the sorter conveyor pipe going up to one of these, and set it all up. I actually have to fill up my jetpack, so I will I'll bring you back when I have that all set up. Okay, I got this one all set up just in time for sunset. Uh, just getting the uh, windmill all finished up. Uh, you go with the functional hack for now, just because I'm a little long on this one. Okay, so that is fine. We do have 
do have power. Okay, let's go down here. I don't know how big this ice deposit is. It seems kind of well on the weak side. But so that is power. Good. So uh, go out of control panel, conveyor sorter, and drain all. Okay, and that is it. Now I gotta go back up here. I kind of screwed my tunnel up trying to get this thing up. Uh, empty out my inventory. Like uh, so, I'll take the ice out because we're going to be using that. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start going to dock my shit to the, con to the connector first, and then I'm going to load it up with ice, and I'll bring it back. Okay, I am loaded up. I got about 80 tons of ice on me, so should be a fair amount of hydrogen. Uh, probably not uh, enough to fill up the tanks, but that does that doesn't matter because the first first hydrogen ship we're going to be building is going to be a small tank anyway, so I don't need that much, but it's always good to have some on hand. Uh, that ice deposit hasn't been too bad. It actually has been sort of filling out. And I guess those are my lights. My visor lights showing through the cockpit. I'm assuming so because I never put lights on this thing. I have a really bright personality. That bright smile. Show those pearly bright whites. Alright. Enough of the jokes. Oh, this is not it goes off. Check the inventory and it is empty. Good. Let's hop out and we should be seeing hydrogen in here. There we go. Perfect. And everything that doesn't fit in here should actually go into um, the H2O2 generator. Actually, current ship because it's a separate grid. No, oh, wait, never mind. Anyways, so where did that ice go? Let's just quickly look for where it went. Small cargo container 19. You weren't supposed to go in there. Where was that one? That was that was here. Okay, where is uh terminal? Uh, okay, I gotta hit rip out the floor here, find out what's going on. Okay. Okay, whitelist, yes. But why is ice going in there? Maybe I should reverse it. Blacklist. There's blacklist ice. Is the only thing I plan on putting in here other than ores. Uh, blacklist ice. Uh, uh, don't want to do this, but whatever. Okay, and then on this side, we're going to... Yeah, we'll just have to blacklist the ores and uh, blacklist ore and blacklist scrap metal. As soon as I find it, there it is. For some reason, I was thinking it sort of had a K in there. Okay, so now I do this and go over here and grab. Actually, where the rest of the ice go? Oh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I figured it out. So what happened is this system over here got filled up even though technically it should have forced it in here. But it didn't. I almost might have to put this container down below. I think that might be a smart idea. Well, let's rip up more of the floor. It's a good spot to stick it right here. Kind of makes sense. All right, uh, now we go back to the small container. You get the idea. So uh, let me finish this up. Well, it doesn't seem to be the problem because obviously that wasn't going to fill it up because I only had eighty thousand, which would 
still leave it at like 30,000 liters. So that's obviously what happened. It just got bypassed somewhere. So as long as I blacklist that, it should be okay. We'll go in here, we'll grab whatever ice we can. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here. And it should disappear. And I fell in a hole. Wait, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Don't tell me it went back in here. What's going on? Okay, it didn't. So where did I go? Is it still in the... Yes, I'm mumbling to myself. Okay, it's... Uh, I just gotta look for the ice da 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 da. Should be in here somewhere. Conveyor sorter. Which one is that? 24. And 23. 22. So it's in here. Why is it in here? No black lists. Maybe that'll work. No. What's going on here? I should be all connected. Uh, hang on. All right, well, I haven't had the best of luck trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, as long as every, the, the ores end up in the refinery, that's all I really care about. I do have that container down below there. I'm gonna take that out and put the, uh, the conveyor back in just to make sure that nothing ends up in there that I don't want because that'll be a unified storage, and I'm using quotes here, uh, whereas the H2O2 generator only set dice ice and bottles so that'll be okay the tanks will only take bottles as well so that's good let's actually see how much hydrogen we're doing how much we're producing yeah that's enough that's a little bit but can't expect too much because i haven't put much in but anyways it's a good place uh the end it here we got uh some better loading systems for the ship to get some minor automation going into mining which isn't that big of a deal once we start getting up there and you're doing mining then we're going to be able to work with drills and stuff like that where it's a little easier to do uh but anyways i uh, thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later